Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. The Nigerian police force have opened an investigation into the beheading of Okechuko Koye, the lawmaker representing Governor Charles Saludo's community in Anambra House of Assembly. Okoye was beheaded barely a week after gunmen kidnapped him along with an aide in his residence in the state. Meanwhile, the discovery of, a late, of the lawmaker's mutilated body over the weekend has since packed outrage both online and offline. Reacting to the incident, Anambra State Governor Charles Saludo described the killing as gruesome, barbaric and shocking and has now announced a reward for anyone with information leading to the killer's capture. The ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, has postponed the screening of the 25 presidential aspirants in the party which was earlier slated for Monday, May 23rd. The party's National Publicity Secretary, Felix Mocha, announced the postponement in a statement issued on Sunday night, although no reason was given for the change in plan. Mocha said although the party regrets any inconvenience caused by the decision, a new date for the screening exercise will be communicated to the public. And President Mohamed Buhari has arrived in Kano State for the 58th anniversary of the Nigerian Air Force. The program tagged NAF Day Celebration 2022, built to hold between May 19 and 21, was postponed to honor the lives of nine people killed by an explosion in the state. The president is expected to commission seven new Pakistani-built Super Mushkank military aircraft as part of efforts to boost the capacity of the 58-year-old Nigerian Air Force. And President Joe Biden says North Korea has not responded to a U.S. offer of COVID vaccines as the country battles its first acknowledged outbreak. According to the country's state media, nearly 2.5 million people have been sickened by fever in North Korea and is under a nationwide lockdown. China is also struggling to control a wave of infections from the highly transmissible Omicron variant with millions of people under some form of lockdown. And in business, the federal government has introduced a new telecommunications tax to provide finance and subsidize the cost of provision of health care services to vulnerable persons in Nigeria. This is contained in the National Health Insurance Authority Bill of 2021, signed into law by President Buhari on May 19. The act specified that the money from the Vulnerable Group Fund shall be expended to provide subsidy for health insurance coverage of vulnerable persons as determined by the council and for the payment of health insurance premiums for the indigent. And while acknowledging the economic pain experienced by Americans as inflation soars, President Joe Biden has said a recession in the United States is not inevitable. Biden blamed inf inflation on fallout from Russia's invasion of Ukraine and other global problems and defended U.S. economic performance. At in sports, Samuel Chukweze and his Villarreal teammates made history following their 2 0 win against Barcelona on Sunday in their final league game of the season. The result saw the Yellow Submarines finish in seventh place on 59 points after 38 games played, which will see them feature in next season's Europa Conference League, making Villarreal the first Spanish football team ever to play in the competition. Now that's the latest from the newsroom. Do join us at the top of the hour for more updates. Thank you for watching.